When Gabe got cancer, our entire lives turned upside down. Now we have to save him from this gang lifestyle that he's trying to lead. Stop calling the cops on me. You don't expect me to call the police when you're running away, stealing guns. I sometimes feel that when he went through his treatment, the chemo took a piece of his soul. It was like a switch flipped. He was angry, became very aggressive verbally, physically. He was not himself. At 10 years old, he was definitely starting to hang out with the homies, the thugs. But age 12, Gabe broke into an elementary school and vandalized it. He was served two weeks in juvenile hall, but he was placed on probation until the age of 15. At age 13, he had tried cocaine, and I heard that he was also popping Xanax. Last year, Gabriel came storming through the door. He was covered in blood. I thought his nose was broken. We robbed the wrong person who is a homie. We stole guns from him, okay? On accident. He said that he had broken into a house and stole some firearms. The gang members beat the crap out of him. My husband Jason and I fight and disagree on how to parent Gabe. I'm the stable one in the relationship. I attend most of all the court dates, the probation meetings, school meetings. I feel like Jason contributes very little energy to the family. Things have been pretty rocky over the last few years between Jason and I. What exactly it is you think I need to change? I kind of feel like it's the Jason show. You know, like it's you're just kind of kind of self-absorbed. Like I feel like I'm talking to the wall every time I come home. I'm hoping coming here we can get some help to communicate better so that we can be better parents for Gabe. We need answers, we need solutions, we need a way to try to save Gabe because we just don't know what to do with them. Well, Sharon's best friend, Rosalie, says Gabe's illness is not to blame for his behavior. She says it's his parents. I absolutely believe Sharon and Jason parent out of guilt. I feel like Gabe is at the point of no return. Why is somebody don't trying to do Because we're in the streets, bro. What do you mean you're in the streets? You're not born in at. the streets. <laughs> All right, I don't give a bro. I'm in the streets. I asked Gabe if he was in a gang, and he advised me that he actually is now currently active. When Gabe misbehaves, they make excuses and blame the cancer and all of the treatment that he went under. They allow him to get away with murder. Gabe is causing more conflict between Jason and Sharon, and their relationship has always been a struggle. They haven't shown their children what a healthy, loving relationship actually is. It's no wonder why Gabe is looking for the attention from his homies, because he probably feels like he's not getting it at home. Who's responsible for you? Me, Us. Bob, probation is over I did for what you. I did, you? What? We're already hitting a probation. I want to get my son on probation. Because I needed no some kind of support. You. People can't just go around doing whatever they want. Sharon and Jason are constantly yelling at each other. They're just so disconnected and don't really even like each other. Jason makes it really hard for Sharon to parent. Sharon will try to set down the law for Gabe. Jason comes in and changes the law that she just laid down. Sharon also does drink to tune out Jason when he is home and what he's doing to make her feel bad. I do believe that Jason is completely checked out of this marriage. If Sharon and Jason don't get their life together, I don't understand how they expect Gabriel to get his life together. Okay, thank you both for being here. I, and you. Rosalie, you have a different perspective on this than you do. You have a different perspective on it than his father does. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of different points of view here. But the one thing we agree about is that this young man's in trouble. Yes. Yes. Do you think he is ganged up at this point? I, I'm not sure, you know, he says he's active, you know, but then he says, no, I'm not trying to join the gang. So that's why they, some of them are coming ac after mm -hmm. them yeah. because, you know, he's presenting himself like he's in the gang. He's hanging out with the kids in the gang, but you know, he said he hasn't been jumped we into it yet. We can't get a real answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to talk without Jason out here to begin with, his father out here to begin with, why? I'm just intimidated by him. You know, I, he kind of rides over me and I tend to shut down when he starts talking. Um, he doesn't let me have a voice.